Las Vegas is back open at 100% capacity and you might be called back into the office. That could cause a little anxiety after being home for more than a year. CEO of Vegas Stronger, Dave Marlin, joins us now with some advice to curb those fears. Good morning to you, Dave. How are you? Good. Good morning, Alyssa. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So as we head back into the workplace after quarantine, what's your best advice? Well, uh, recognize that mindset is everything. If you are avoiding work, if you are depressed or anxious and you let those overpower you, um, the whole pandemic experience could be very negative. I do notice there's some folks who have an alternative mindset and recognize that this has been an opportunity to kind of refocus on what's important. Many people have gotten closer with their families maybe started new fitness regimens, improve their diets. Uh, many folks have used this time to heighten their spirituality. These are all positive approaches that they could utilize uh, d during, the, during the pandemic and now as we go into this post-epidemic phase. Uh, something a lot of people don't realize is that a consequence of uh, COVID-19 is this COVID fatigue. So some people still have some COVID fatigue as a result of having a diagnosis one, two, even three months ago. Hmm. Recognizing hmm. that we need to, to heal and get past that is important. Right, so when it comes to mental health, what are some of the best strategies to feeling better about moving out of the pandemic? Uh, one thing that's very important is trying to be mindful and be in the present. If you're gonna spend time worrying about the past, and, and lamenting that, you know, that will be your mindset. If you're uncertain for the country, the city, or your own future, and you spend some time, or most of your time, focusing on the future, you're gonna tend to be more anxious. Recognizing that we're in the present right now, and seeing really what can you do that's positive now in the present is a good uh, thing to focus on. Okay. Something else I'd have to mention is that substance use disorders all heightened during the pandemic. So increasing a period of abstinence is a smart thing for most people to do. Okay, and we're, we're almost out of time. So I do wanna ask you when it comes to going back into the office and having different personalities meshing once again, what's the best way to approach maybe a, a coworker who says, Oh, it's time to take that mask off and, and people who are just on different levels of comfortability. Ooh, that's that's a really uh, it's a really good point to mention. We all need to be sensitive that there's some people who are still very fearful of the disease and there's other folks who are just brushing it off and, and being mindful of our co-workers and their different perspectives is important for all of us. Okay. Dave Marlin, thank you so much for all that you do and for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks, Alyssa. Stay well. You too.